Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft 2. I'm Nye. I'm Mako. We've got things to look at now. Yeah, so we got a, a new set of mercenaries that I'll never use, the Devil Dogs. Uh, these are specifically Firebat mercenaries, which is one of the reasons you'll never see me use them. Uh, I might have to buy all the mercenaries eventually anyways, because we are going to get a serious amount of money now. Tychus, what do you have to you say about the nonsense we just did? Show did. Okay, so she'd like to give me a how physical. how would this no work? Harm and ask it, right? How do you? I think she's got her you can't leave your. I mean, ass, though. Yeah? don't ask. You I like it may be better that we just don't. Oh, I don't, know. don't don't try to think about it too hard. Think about it too hard. I also colony, love this maybe. fantastically. Yeah, just, just he's stuck in the suit. Never could be the ladies. Hmm. He's how how do you do a he's stuck in the suit. Meaning he can't leave the suit. So how do you do a physical? Does she does she just put a thermometer in his mouth and go, Well, okay, you've got the right temperature, we're done. Well, I can't way, do the rest. Same way that he can go to the bathroom in a way that presumably doesn't need the suit, and then he presumably is capable of Is she of gonna reach a... down and cup the cod piece and say turn your head and cough? He seems to be give the seems to give give the impression that he's got he's got enough of the suit removable that he's got game. I don't want to okay, think look, about it. Okay, look, he's got he's got suit removable enough, the same way an astronaut does. I really don't want to think about it. I think the cod piece just like bit like goes down, and there's just a catheter involved. I don't want to think about it. Let's see what's going on in the news. Johnny Vermillion, UNN. We've got Kate Lockwell. Hey, look! It's that place that we went and saved a bunch of people. Colony. Are you there, Kate? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, we seem to be having a sound problem with... Uh-oh! Arturus Manx is gonna go say hi to people! To Maybe he's gonna give me a medal for saving a bunch of people on Agria. In progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear. Oh, by the way, we're finally being introduced to who this guy is. So, <laughs> you know how they were talking to him about the uh, Odin previously? We're now, no, now this is who he is. <laughs> he retired years ago. Yep. I guess this is just really good coding, you know, like, or really good writing. The people of the Dominion are supposed to know who he is, they didn't have to introduce him when we first saw him. There you have it, viewers. Yep. Warfield in command. The Zerg swarm will be I also love no this. Up next, Rainer ups his campaign. Rainer shows up at the exact the same time as Zerg appears, so therefore, Rainer's part. Uh, Ray Rainer's in league with the Zerg. Keep trying, Donnie. One of these days, you might actually get somewhere. Okay, so we now have fire bats. The CMC 660 heavy combat suit. The fire bat suit contains a volatile mix of gases that seep into the operator compartment. This may explain why fire bat personnel are almost universally resocialized criminals or psychotic pyromaniacs. No, I think that's because they get to light people on fire for a living. Perdition flamethrowers spew combustor plasma at enemy targets. The plasma easily seeps into gaps in Zerg carapaces. Smaller Zerg creatures are literally cooked alive inside their own skins. Fire washes the skin off the bone and the sin of the soul. It cleans away the dirt, and my mama didn't raise herself no dirty boy. Franco, Til Franco Tilden, widely credited as the first fighting fire bat, reformed mass murderer. Okie dokie. Well, that'll just, you know... Rock me to sleep tonight. Yeah. So let's look at some upgrades to the fire bat that I'll never get. Number one, fire bats gain a 40% larger area of attack. This would be useful if I could actually construct these barricades, but um, I don't get to actually do that. Number two, fire bats gain plus two armor. So they just take the Slightly less more useful, but still kind of useless. If I was using fire bats, that'd be useful. Let's go to the lab. So, uh, we can go here, gain 30,000 credits, and leave. Um, we just got paid. We just got paid. We did. Okay, let's go see if there's any more upgrades I can do. Uh, we're good at, we're good for the base upgrades for now. Um, I think... I'm just gonna save money. We're just gonna save the money. There's nothing I want to get right now. What's up, Horner? Sure felt good rescuing those folks, but there's millions more. We saved a bunch of people, but there's more to save, so I'm just going to be depressed again. 
important thing is that we set an example. I, I really do like that that's what he just said. Every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to... Oh, keep in mind, future. this is the I'm same... This is the same Matt who was complaining at me because now. we were going to go and now kill some Zerg. Back in the mix. Your better future needs to hurry same guy. Get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. Okay, what's up, Hanson? What do you I've want? I've heard a lot about you, Commander. The Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal. Terrorist. It's amazing. You mean the same Dominion that abandoned you to a bunch of angry, yeah. very hungry aliens? Imagine that. Well, also, it's the same Dominion who is portraying him as a one-sided man. Like, that's all he is. Like the Emperor cares at all. Of course. My people from yep. Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. Man, it's almost as if we have to go there at some point. Spreading throughout the camps, oh, now you're just talking crazy talk again. Yeah, the Emperor's just not going to help you out. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, look. Matt's not standing to the left anymore. Oh, wait. Yes, he is. I was almost impressed. Okay, so, um, we could go to Core Hall and do that. I don't really yeah, feel like it. Or we can continue her uh, story over at Meinhof. So, some sort of infestation going on here. This will give us the Hellion, which is another one of those units that I'll never use, except for on this. Actually, no, we're not going to even use it on this mission. Nope. I got better options. Lunch. Okay, so Meinhof system. It's 4.53 shipboard time. Um, Mako, how stupid so do you want me to be that? on this mission? Because I just realized I have some really some stupid kind of options. Is spreading through the refugee I think we've already established by now that stupid is the standard. So really stupid before. is what you're saying. It's a Zerg I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm saying use units, no use units that I had, I have no reason Everyone to have by this point in the game on this I'm, mission. I'm saying we go full Three Stooges Where here. Okay. Hey, look, there's the people. Oh, no. Those... Things are so these are the people refugees? we just saved, by the way. This is a nightmare. Oh. Actually, I'm not sure if that's the story. Is I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, I she was talking about some of the refugees were on Meinhof, like and this is happening. This is where um, re re refugees from across the entire sector, basically. The yeah. Have been have been being to moved to this place. Yep. Star. Then we'll hit the infested so, buildings by day and protect our base at night. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Don't worry, Doc. We'll contain this thing. So we're going to be doing some really stupid things that I have in no... I have no good reason to be doing. Because I'm not supposed to have the stuff that I have now. Um, so they're telling me I should be aggressive during the daylight hours and, and uh, you know, be home by sundown. We're not going to be doing that because I'm not playing by their rules anymore. You're playing by a sort of rules that involve a lot of fire. Okay, you guys... Oh, no, everybody... Do that. Build my economy really fast. Um, we're gonna be needing that to happen. Yeah, we're uh, we're playing by a set of rules that no one should be allowed to do ever, because I'm just gonna be silly and I'm gonna do some very stupid things that I'm not supposed to do. Okay. You go down. Go and sweet on that doctor lady, Jimmy. Can't see why else we'd keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. Okay. And Mako, you're gonna see extremely quickly what my plan is. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised you haven't called it yet. Just to be 100% uh, honest with you. Oh god, are you gonna do the ghost blocker again? No, but ghosts are involved. Oh, I should oh. I should play by their rules. Hold on. I was gonna say because you are gonna get swarmed when nighttime comes. This is one of those map maps where night and day actually. Okay, I was talking about that kind of mission where, uh, 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 uh where you could like there was a particular game type where you could actually have uh, the uh, mercenary style of the Marauders. Not enough minerals. Right. Yeah, we did talk about yeah. that. Yeah. This is the kind of map that it's designed around. It's a day and night cycle where you're defending against uh, night, night infestations. Fight fire with fire. Ready to fire the so, and you know, I'm... Okay, you have day and night cycle. Is it wrong that I kind of missed the little icon at the top of the screen, like from, from uh, Warcraft 3 that had the little timer? Yes, it is wrong. Then I don't want to be right. Okay, so technically we're going to be attacked. Now, if you look on my map, you'll notice there's a bunch of red on my map. 
Mm -hmm. That's the game telling me where all the enemies are because we have this thing, the sensor tower, which allows me to see every enemy in the nearby area. The game wants me to care about that, and I really don't. <clears throat> Move it. Okay. Not enough do, 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 do. Big job. And unlike most missions, our goal in this case is basically to go out there and destroy every building. So, enemies are coming, but you'll notice that I have a lot of damage, so I don't care. And then our job right now is literally just to uh, defend ourselves. That's all I'm really worried about right now. Base is under attack. Oh no, Mako, they're attacking me. Not very well, but they're attacking closer me. closer so you can actually get involved, please? There, those are medics. They're not going to get uh, There's a Marine right here. Oh, wow. He wasn't able to fit inside. Wow, you did that fast. Can you do, like, a couple more of those, please? Actually, you know what? I want... I want one of these. Give me one of these. No, I don't want those. That you have to... Have do, they, do, 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 do they have to be near the Hive Mind emulator? Yes. Actually? Yeah, it has a very specific range to it. Okay, in that case, it's not worth it. This is taking a little bit of damage, but it's fine because we have stuff. You two, start building ghosts. Yeah, and you get, we'll get up near Vespian gas a bit. That's fine. It's going to be coming. Okay. We're doing things. We're going to be doing stupid things. Um, as I said, this mission is designed in a very specific way for stuff or to not have stuff that I have. Um, for example, I am in no way supposed to have Perdition turrets by this point in the game. Doing this at night is probably not your smartest move, but yeah. it's not like you're getting bugged by anything. Yeah, they're either, never gonna so. they're never gonna reach the uh, bunkers in such a way that I'm gonna have to worry about it. And by the time night's over, I'm going to be so far... Upgrade complete. Like, I'm going to be so Base powerful that is nothing else is going to be a problem anymore. Insufficient Vespine gas. The one thing I always like is just a little touch. If you see when you see as he's building the, uh... It's the, uh... Perdition turret up there next to hey, you, if chat. you look. Um... As he gets higher, farther and farther along, the structure of the building actually starts building itself as well. Yep. So these are Hellions. Uh, I don't want them, so we're going to get them killed. Well, what was the name of the trike before? The... the not the Banshee, um... The Vulture? The Vulture. They're basically fire... They're basically Vulture... They're basically Firebat Vultures. That's a good way to describe them. Coming up. We gotta hold on a little they are to vultures what fire bats are to marines. Oh, you know something that I need to do at some point? Mm -hmm. I was wondering why, why I wasn't supposed to get any ghosts. Why are you moving that building up there? Because I don't want it. Okay. And that's the end of the day. Rise and shine, boys. Now it's our time to do some damage. Pretty much. Is that some sort of nest? You better destroy so, it. So, one of the reasons I'm doing this Go is I'm looking for a very specific spot on the map. Do do do. The Zerg aren't going to have that many air anti aerials. You can use as it, you can use it as an a non standard uh, search thing, scout unit. Pretty much. Yes. This is what I'm looking for. I want I want this base. Give me the sit rep. Um, I don't think the Zerg the Zerg are going to have any uh, detectors to be honest with you. So. It's still early and well. You say that it's still early enough. They might not have them like standard, but they're probably going to have a few in the place where on the map where they're where the game is trying to just dis, dis, uh, oh. discourage you from coming from or going to rather. Probably. 
Let's see. What's the... Oh. Can you do that? And then you're going to build some tradition turrets over here. It's kind of a blizzard thing that the best way to keep the player out of somewhere they don't want you to is to stomp you if you get too close. Well, I'll put it this way. I don't operate by blizzard's rules anymore. We're going to have ghosts. Ghosts are invisible. They don't care. Now, the thing is, the ghosts don't do amazing amounts of damage. I say as they start destroying stuff really fast. But, uh, understand that I'm gonna have a lot of them, first and foremost. They're invisible. They don't care if it's day or night, because they're invisible. Uh, this is a swarmer map, so what it what it's gonna be doing is swarmers. And I'll be able to drop nukes, for example. Which will speed things up. I want to be careful because we got yeah, the new in the wrong places. That's why I moved my guys out of the way. Are you sure about that? But we want this base to be ours because it has another set of SP geysers. So okay, yeah, then you can just take it over. But then you have to put down the bunkers too because they yep. have a swarm to go for it. Well, that's going to be the next thing we're going to do because he's almost done building his perdition turrets What's here. Going on? Let's say we'll blow up that turret there and then just replace it. Yep. Okay, so like I I want to say I've made my point about how stupid I am, but we haven't beaten this level yet. <laughs> like I said, You're go on. go full three Stooges here. This is. To it. I'm actually killing stuff probably faster than the Hellions would have. Let's just put it that way. This is just so stupid. It really is. This is the stupidest thing I could do. By the way, did I mention that I'm getting more of these guys? This is just so stupid. This shouldn't work. Mako, why does this work? Because you've bro broken this game like a brittle, brittle twig. I mean, this isn't going to work forever. Um, there's going to be missions where this no longer works because the game is actually coded and designed fairly well. It is, like, actually, like, it's, I was going to say, it, any, if, the moment they start bringing out um, detector units in the force, these, this, this, this whole thing is useless, but... Well, but then I won't be using this particular strategy anymore. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Okay, so we'll see what happens in 30 seconds. In the rear with the gear. So here's a question for you, because I'm sort of curious. Whoop. What is your Hold on, take hold on, wait, wait, I gotta pay attention now. Someone actually got hurt just now. Hmm. Or maybe that was just they engaged the enemy, I'm not sure. Yeah, it might be, I think that was they engaged the enemy, and the buildings do count as enemy. So, what the game tried to just teach me, but the problem is I don't care, so it didn't teach me correctly. Uh, the game tried to just teach me the idea of... Um, the game tried to just teach me that I shouldn't be um, attacking during the night. Attacking during the night that they uh, cause a ton of enemies to just spawn if I try to do so. I'm notoriously bad at following directions. I can attest. So, okay. The implication is if you blow it up, you're going to... Uh, there, see, yeah, he's done. The implication is you do this and it's going to start bringing out... Um, just infested more marines. enemies spawn if you do this, well, is the idea. It, it, not just more enemies, but they're saying infested marines, which means these are zombies that can actually shoot back for once. Numbers, yeah, but you know how much it matters? 
It is also telling you all about your subdivision. Uh oh, that's so. a problem. Oops. That's not very good. Don't do that. This may or may not be a really stupid idea I'm doing. We're gonna find out. Hopefully the perdition turret's gonna help. You can see the uh, anti-fire thing at work there. Or could see it from before it blew up. Yep. But now I can start doing more of this. Okay. I was gonna say, I was gonna, I was gonna say honestly, put the perdition turrets up first. Don't do that. That's not nice. Okay, let's go ahead and kill that, kill that, kill that. Let's just issue some orders here. Anyway, I was gonna I was gonna ask you, because this is relevant. I I have a love for Japanese games. Yep. They're usually the weirder weirder or less common ones, and one has just re has just come out and gotten its release here in the US. Okay. But by all accounts, it has had some changes, and I'm using as best air quotes as I can here. There you go. See those? Those are infested marines, and they're shooting. At well, those spawn normally, though. This is a like they're supposed to spawn right now. So unfortunately, I can't hit those guys very well at the moment. They're actually out of the range of uh, the perdition turret. Why anyway. didn't you guys kill this? Could you kill that, please? <laughs> and then anyway. go attack them over here. Anyway, they uh, uh, supposedly like this this game, game underwent some uh, changes. Not necessarily like really He's big, really attack. bad changes, but stuff that was theoretically unnecessary. Theoretically, like changes to costume, covering characters up, changing the context of a few things. From what I understand. I swear that I know what game you're talking about, but at the same time I don't. Try me then, just just, just because I'm curious. To see like I I best. think I like I think I know the name, but I can't remember the name. Is what I'm saying. Okay, um, like I someone has told me about this, and now I don't remember what. Tokyo it is. Mirage Sessions. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that is in fact the one I was talking about. Um, I'm probably going to be picking it up real soon now. Well, I've heard uh, good things about it. I I. Freaking love the series that it's based on and the whole thing, thing, thing it's designed around. Um, uh, for those who don't know, it's it's meant to be. It's Shin Megami it, Tensei meets Shin Fire Emblem. Think, yeah, that was what it was basically basically uh, built as and designed as. But so my question is up to you: Is what is your opinion of the whole concept of you know? I won't call it censorship, but this whole adjustment yes. thing. I happens. swear to God, I asked you this exact same question less than a week ago. It is entirely possible that you did, but you know that my memory is poor. I'm lucky um, if I can remember if I would remember what I had for lunch last week. I mean, I don't. I am not a fan of censorship in really any way ever. That being said, there's sometimes that you just can't get past it. You know. Hmm. And that's the problem, is just, in some cases, you cannot get past censorship. Not that you shouldn't be able to, um, but it's possible that, in some cases, you know, you're not going to be able to avoid it. So, you know, it's, I don't like it, but if it's something that, let's, let's say, for example, let's talk about, um, you know, Australia, for example, and the M rating problem down there. Um, you're not gonna be able to get past it. Like, it is not an option for you to do stuff. How did you guys get damaged? That's what I want to know. Someone must have been in the, like, outside of a, uh, nuke or something. But, you know, it's, it's, at some, like, it doesn't feel like there's an option at some points to do yeah. anything about it. So by the way, the things that you're seeing the Zerg uh, things drop are, um, I forget what they're called, Suicide or something like that. Um, they spawn off of Zerg units, or Zerg buildings, after Zerg buildings are destroyed, and they're meant to attack you. But the Zerg have no detectors, so... <laughs> Also, at this point, it doesn't matter how many uh, ghosts I have, because I've hit critical mass. Do 
You got nothing to do? Get back here and start doing that. Okay. Uh, cancel one of those. So some like my guys actually can't get to the enemy buildings fast enough before they're already destroyed. It's because you might want to hold off on blowing blowing up everything so you can wait until nighttime and get those last two investors. You know? we'll get oh, remember, I, I'm only halfway done with the uh, with the map so far. So we got time. By the way, I, there, I'm not supposed to be doing this anywhere near as fast as I'm doing this. Hey, how are you guys seeing me? Unacceptable. Um, I could be doing oh, there this. You go. There, there, that's why. Oh, right, that. I could be doing this just as easily using um, banshees. Uh, any flying unit would be able to make me ridiculously powerful here. So we're just doing silly. We're doing silly. I'm actually curious how well this strategy would work on Brutal. That's a good question, actually. Honestly, I don't know if the strategy would be any different. The base here. I forget if the spike, if the spikers count as uh, detectors as well. I don't know if they do. You need more. Uh, you require more uh, overlords. Or supply depots or something. Yes, sir. You almost done? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> okay, so what the game is supposed to do at this point is we're gonna get attacked on that lower left-hand side of my base where I have those two bunkers. If you don't know this mission, it may come as a surprise to you when it happens. But um, you're supposed to be attacked there and uh, it's just... I'm, I've already got my defenses set up. Also, here's another base if you ever need one. Also, I just had my questions answered. The spikers are uh, technically... Nope, they are not. Well, no, one of them took a pot shot. Already. It's because there was a spore colony that was still active. Oh, okay. Okay, nightfall's gonna happen, and we're gonna go searching for those investors. We'll find them somewhere. Right hand, they're at a, they were at about 3 right. and 7 o'clock on the map. Nice work, boys. That From what I remember. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go find them. Oh no, we lost our Vespine geyser. Okay. So, Alpha Squad, let's find these things. Up here, maybe? No, see, you can see them oh, on the map. Oh, I see them, okay. Yeah, they only show up at night. That was kind of the point. Nothing to it. Doom to doom to doom. Will do. By the way, even though it says night three, there is actually no. <laughs> wow. Uh, there is no um, time limit to this. It's just keeping track of how long mm -hmm. it's taken. There is an achievement for doing it quickly. Uh, the game does have an achievement based on doing it uh, super fast. Which, I don't know if I actually would qualify for that at this point. You're not in hard anyway, so... Yeah. I think I've done that. Move it. All right. This sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next area. To finish my, my thought process, because I'm having a hard time keeping it in order, yeah, I, I disagree with the whole changing it because it's not I don't I don't buy the whole it making it more culturally relevant excuse they sometimes make mm. it just at it work doesn't. I've been describing Tokyo Mirage as very very Japanese so it is, culturally but, relevant might be the word to use like I can't argue that it's not especially given like it's this one's supposed to be based around the whole idol thing but yeah at the same time I it feels like a weak excuse. I mean, I agree with you. You're buying... Part of the reason you're buying it is, like... And the people who are buying this are going to be the ones who wanted an SMT game. And if you're buying an SMT game, you know what you're in for. Yep. Upgrade complete. Uh, one of you guys needs to... 
Hell, if I had the capacity, like, oh, it, yeah, is, it is a series that I have considered on several occasions whether I wanted to try streaming myself, well, streaming and recording myself, but mechanisms are not in place for that for me yet. Yep. Oh, no, I have SCVs under attack. Oh, right, this guy, because I just sent him up here to do things. I kind of forgot about that, to be honest. Also, these guys are, you know, continuing to sweep and clear. This is just so mm. stupid. Oh, you guys are more infester, so... We'll be killing it in just a moment. Wow, it saw me. Keep in mind, I'm also not using the abilities like Snipe or anything like that. I could be. But I'm kind of choosing not to, because that's more micro than I care to do. How are we doing over here? Something, something APM. Yeah. Did I lose the SCV who's over here? Hey, I must have. Awesome. You're almost done. There's just a handful of infested bio signs left. Okay, they so like now, now yeah. because we've gotten so far, the game is, is actually that? now highlighting. Was it human? I love what she's asking, was it human, when we've already killed the thing question. Here's the attack on the lower left I was talking about. It's already over. By the way, the other thing worth noting is that the enemies spawn out of these buildings. The faster you sweep the buildings, the less you gotta deal with. We also have these buildings over here we have to deal with. Yes, More attacks. Oh, they, oh, they're talking about those things. Talking about those centaur things. Hmm. Okay. And we are almost done. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it done before night three ended, but that's fine. Oh hell yes! This is gonna be our And time. game right. is over. We're done. Man, ghosts. Oh, and if I actually, if I didn't bother going for that second base, I would have done it faster too. This whole sector's crawling with Zerg. That was fun though. somewhere out there the aliens haven't touched. Some undiscovered paradise waiting just for us. Yeah, about that. So now we have look at the achievements. Um, so. The nor <laughs> to let you know how how quickly we did that, uh, the normal level achievement. So, how fast they want you to go on the difficulty I just played is beat it before the fifth night. We weren't even at, at the, we just started the third day, hmm. so we beat it really really fast. Um, and again, I probably could have done that faster if I wasn't trying to be silly. So keep that in mind. There are faster ways to do that. Uh, we killed the infestors. We got our Zerg research. We got some money. Destroy 15 things at night on hard. Yeah, apparently that's supposed to be a hard thing. Well, considering that you're technically supposed to go boom if you try it. Yeah. Technically. It's hard to go boom when you're invisible. Thanks for joining us. Our own Kate Lockwell is reporting live from the refugee So one thing you can also do if you, if you really want to be silly... Off. Remember, you can replay missions and go back on whatever difficulty you want to. So if you want to go for those brutal difficulty things, once you've already beaten it, you can go back and you keep whatever, you know, whatever stuff you had when you would have gone there to begin with. The game keeps track of what path you went through. <laughs> They're waiting for Raiders Royce to save them, but no, we're not going to talk about that. The Dominion's return. Up next, a Vermilion commentary, Refugees. He really is a douchebag. He is. Like, the level You're of douchebag. You're all heart, Donnie. <laughs> yep. Okay, guys, well, that's going to be it for us today. When we come back next time, we are going to be continuing to do the exact same thing we just did. We'll see you soon.